Hey folks, Harry here and welcome to our first episode of our epic Minecraft MMO RPG series. And I am thrilled that you're joining me on this incredible journey. For those of you that are just tuning in, let me catch you up on what we're doing here. This isn't your typical Minecraft Let's Play. We're embarking on something much bigger, much more ambitious. We're going to transform this world into a fully fledged MMORPG. Imagine sprawling kingdoms, bustling towns, treacherous dungeons, and epic quests. And the best part, you, our amazing community, will help shape this world. Your ideas, your creativity, and your decisions will breathe life into this universe. But every great journey starts with a single step, and today our mission is extremely clear. We need to find the perfect location for our very first time. This thing's going to be the cornerstone of a kingdom, the hub from which all our future adventurers will spring. Quite a nice restart. start. We are now in our starting village. This is where I will pretty much be based for the first wee while. We have a setting sun and a wee tiny village. But yes, this is going to be where we do a lot of our beginner stuff. I will be traveling out from here and finding things and doing a lot of other stuff. But, this is a cool wee area. Like, really cool wee area. And the first kind of thing I want to get done is an iron farm. Now, this is going to be the best place for it. My only issue is, I don't know if there's a lot of cave system in here. It doesn't seem too bad. And I'm pretty sure I could set up an iron farm quite easy. Yeah. Right, I am going to quickly get stuff ready for this. It's going to be a basic iron farm, nothing fancy. Start off iron farm from Ian X04. If you've never seen it, I've done it before. It's one of the best early game iron farms ever. So let's get going.
I currently have these two villagers locked up because I do not want them dying. So we've got farmer and we've got a uh, weaponsmith. I can never remember what they are. I have them, one for food and one to get emeralds, actually. Because iron to emeralds is possible. And it can be really cheap if you can obviously, like, zombify them. But to get that trade, I need a lot of coal. So I need to go mining and get it. So, so let's, let's go mining and try and get so much coal. Well, that was terrifying. I will admit, that was nuts. But did you see? The, I don't even know if I put in, but the amount of cave spider spawners there was nuts. I think I may be able to make an XP farm out of at least two of them, maybe three. We will need to look into that. But. I get quite a bit of coal, which is what I need. <laughs> okay, where are you? Here we go. Uh, 15 wise. Oh, uh -huh. okay. That was weird. I think 15 is the max. That's a good sword. And that gives us the the four iron. Perfect. Now I just need to get out of here without them getting in. Right, so I now I now need a lot of iron. Alright, with this much iron, we should be able to get quite a bit of quite a bit of emeralds from it. As well as level up quite a bit as well. Now my issue is there is only so many emeralds I can get at any one time. It's super annoying. But hey, oh, there's nothing we can do about that. But while we're waiting, I can use this to upgrade the farmer. Okay. Um I I'm so confused. I need to actually go and watch us back. It seems to be a problem with Axiom. Uh, I don't know what. Is it this? No. But literally, if I hit the button for Axiom, it opens up. But I can't use it all, which is really weird. So it must be bugging out with one of the other mods I have installed. But yeah, that's, that's weird. I need to be extremely careful with that. And I didn't know it was on my alt key because it shouldn't be. But alt tabbing out, turn it on. Anyway, back to getting all the emeralds. Yeah, seems it's a problem with Axiom. I have able to turn it off at the configs, but for some reason I'm still able to own this. 
and it puts me in a creative mode. Like, it, it's really, really confusing. I don't get it. I won't use it in survival, so I hope these take my word for that. But I think it may have something to do with this down here as well. As you can see, this is messed up. But I don't know. I need to go through all my mods and figure out what's going on. But we've got lots of cakes, which means I have a I have a villager that gives us cakes for emeralds. Which is lovely. And some golden cats. So yes. That's looking good. We now have this, apart from the seven. I have a better way in and out now. But yeah, that's that part done. I now want to set up an enchantment table. So I have the enchantment table pretty much done. I just need a place to put it. I was thinking in here, but it's there's no space for it. So we're going to go outside. But my issue, I don't have any leather anywhere. So I'm going to go and get a bunch of leather. And we're going to make our enchanting setup. And then we're going to need to look into getting... Going to need to look into getting the XP farm set up. So let's go and get leather. And let's go and get bookshelves. Right, okay. We have got all the leather now. I need to... Quickly throw it together. Uh, I need paper. And all the books. And then I need lots of planks. And... All oh, the bookshelves. Nice. Alright, let's go and throw this stuff down. So, there. Oh no. That is so annoying. Perfect. Right, oh, what's this? Oh, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. No. I need to, I need to get rid of that. Um, but let me, see, I like the fact that it stays. Oh, I don't have enough. Mm, oh, that's a fortune too. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, I need experience, so. Give me my 30. Uh, but yeah, I, I need that axe while we're at it, so that's handy. Right, let's enchant this. It says I'm breaking three, so I'm kind of hoping. Oh, that's, that's a good pickaxe. Okay, I will take that. <laughs> that's a good pickaxe. I will, I will take that for a pickaxe. Because now I do, I do need a wee bit of um, XP and diamonds to try and upgrade. But I think I'm going to need to leave that there. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.